foot. Welcome back to the post-game show on the WSAV Thursday Night Blitz Game of the Week. All Savannah Christian in the second half by the score of 23-7. The Raider faithful here. They don't want to leave Garden City Stadium and celebrating. Well, one guy that kind of took over the football game, he is deserving of our performance of the game. Seth, tell us a little bit about what Nick Bateman did and defensively, sure there was the kickoff return for a touchdown, but defensively, he changed this football game. Well, you had a couple of big plays uh, with Nick Bateman. Of course, you had the big touchdown uh, on the lateral that we didn't know if it was a pass or, or what have you, but he was causing all sorts of chaos in the backfield all night long for Savannah Christian. And in the early going, he, he had three tackles on the first five plays of the game for, uh, for Savannah Christian, at least from a defensive standpoint. But what a gigantic night uh, for, for Mr. Bateman. And in the first week of the year, anytime you get double digits and tackles, you're doing something. Well, as we check out the, uh, the fans that don't want to leave the stadium, they're quite excited to not leave the stadium. We'll Bring in head coach Donald Chumley, fresh off a of victory. Stand back, just back up just a touch. We're trying to all sneak in. We're trying to all stand in here, coach. Well, first of all, congratulations. I think Thank the big you. story is, and, and hold that up right about there, you're 1-0. That's the key, right? Well, that's the main thing. Uh, you know, it was far from being pretty tonight. Uh, but uh, we play like this sometimes. I mean, some of our games get kind of like this, uh, where we got to uh, hold on to the fourth quarter and then finish. Uh, be able to finish at the end and wear people down. And, and that's kind of what happened tonight. Um, halftime was uh, a little bit of a gut check time for some of our guys. They, uh, I mean, I was a little worried about our body language going in. I was looking, I said, the heads are down. I said, man, I said, the guys, it's, the game's just fixing to start. <laughs> yeah. I said, you know, the first two quarters is, you know, there's the preliminaries. The, the main event's coming. And, and uh, the guys really responded. They came out. Uh, and played hard and, and kept to what we do and kept uh, uh, doing what we had to do. And uh, defense, I can't say enough about the defense. Boy, they uh, just all night long, they just kept uh, making plays and made it tough on Jenkins, which Jenkins has got a heck of a football team. They are, and they're well coached. Coach Adams uh, and his staff, uh, uh, they, they, they're, they're good. They really are. And that takes me, you know, defense, we just gave out our performance of the game. Nick Bateman got that, man. He just, he, he was all over the place out there, deserving of a performance of the game. Well, you know, you could, I, and I think if you asked Nick, he'd feel like me. I mean, uh, that, that thing needs to be broken pieces and give it to the entire defense because uh, one thing we do, we play uh, team football. But Nick, yeah, you're right. Nick, Nick uh, Nick's a senior. He's been playing here now. He's one of his fourth year, and we expect great things from Nick. Uh, we expect him to play well along with JT and, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and Green and, and all, all the guys. Uh, Tyler Arnold played huge, of course, yeah. tonight. Uh, so, again, it's a team effort. Uh, it always has to be a team effort. Uh, one guy's not going to tote you uh, all the way to where we want to go. You know, Jekyll and Hyde first and second half, when you sit down and you watch the film, what are you going to be looking for? Well, number one, were we executing? Were we executing on offense? Were we making the right reads? Were they, uh, you know, were we underneath their pads and moving them? Uh, we run the option, so we have to control the line of scrimmage. And I think you got to give a lot of credit to Jenkins. They uh, were pushing us back, and, and that can happen. Uh, I think uh, they had a good game plan going in. Uh, they were mixing up, uh, they played an even front and an odd front uh, back and forth. I thought it was a good plan they had, but we have to be able to adjust and, and we were slow doing, but it's the first game of the year. And uh, well, this game gets here in a hurry when you, when you only have, uh, I mean, it's the 21st of August right. and we only could, we went in pads August 1st. So, you know, so yeah, we got a long way to go, but, but I'm just real proud of, uh, I think we showed a lot of character and heart and, and, and that's going to take you a long ways. All right, coach, we'll let you go. Thanks for coming by. Thank coach Donald so Chumley from Take Savannah care, Christian, one and zero in the season Congratulations. as Savannah Christian got a win. As we check out some of the plays of the game that we saw throughout today, Seth, take us through a couple of the plays that maybe meant a lot. Well, our, our key early in the game, you know, he gets tackled the one yard line and they actually call it a touchdown initially, then they take it back, and he ends up go, uh, punching himself into the end zone here. Uh, you know, gets up six to nothing. And at this point, Jenkins outplayed Savannah Christian the first half, and they had all the momentum going into halftime, but in the second half, everything was all red and black. Uh, the big, what, 90 plus yard 92, uh, yeah, was right kickoff uh, return for Tyler Arnold, and Katie barred the door after that. And just acceleration here. Look, you got an angle on him, outruns, able shoestring one. Keeps on his feet, shoestring two, stays on his feet, 
and Savannah Christian scores a touchdown, and they don't look back after that. Yeah, and quickly after that was the uh, Nick Bateman touchdown, which we thought maybe could have been a little momentum change for Jenkins because they were able to hold them to a field goal, but Nick Bateman was phenomenal after that, and then I, I believe this is the big play yeah. right here. The backup quarterback, Middleton, checking in, and they said it was a lateral. Boy, it was close, but half the Savannah Christian team stopped, but then the ball was taken in, and... Uh, Nick Bateman with, with a game changer. But give Savannah Christian credit there because pick the ball, run the end zone, the worst they're going to do is say incomplete pass. Right. And then Middleton, well, trying to get something going. Again, and, uh, Tyler Arnold coming up with another. He could have been our performance of the game, too, for what he did. But not many big plays in the first half. Actually, no big plays in the first half. Boy, we saw many in the second half. And unfortunately for the Jenkins Warriors, they all went in the favor of the Savannah Christian Raiders. Yeah, and every time Savannah Christian was able to call, uh, force a turnover or get the ball, they executed. Uh, difference in the first half. They got the ball twice off turnovers, didn't execute. Got the ball, I believe, three times off turnovers, scored twice because of it. All right, Seth, well, it's been a pleasure, man. We've had a great time bringing you the opener. You'll be with me two more times for a couple more Thursday Night Blitz games of the week. Thank you very much again for joining us. And the final score, 23-7. to Savannah Christian improving to 1-0 and on the season. That'll wrap it up from Garden City Stadium. There's your final score. We'll be back next week from Lions as Toombs County and Johnson tangle only on the WSAV Thursday Night Blitz Game of the Week. Good night.